Welcome back everybody. You know one of the most common questions I get is how do I clean my griddle top and I'm going to make it super easy for you. I'm going to break it down to three levels. The three levels of griddle top cleaning. Let's give it a try. I just finished griddling some gorgeous Texas Toast grilled cheese. And what could be more easy or fun to make, right, than grilled cheese? So I think of the simplest foods to make the least messy on the Blystone griddle. Probably something like grilled cheese, a cheese quesadilla, or a pancake. Let's take a look at the griddle top. There's really nothing on there, okay? At the most, you might have to do very minimal light scraping. That's really it. You're just going to grab your paper towels, you're going to be careful not to burn yourself, and you're going to wipe all the crumbs from the grilled cheese, from the pancakes, from the quesadillas, over towards your grease cup. Now listen, I'm using bare hands today. Perhaps you want to use something like a Blackstone glove, that way if you do slip, you won't burn your hand on a hot griddle top. But grilled cheese, quesadillas, pancakes, very simple foods, that's all there is to it. I'd give it a simple wipe a little bit of oil and then you're simply going to wipe your oil into the griddle top and it's ready for the next dish. You can't beat grilled cheese in the Rocky Mountains. Shout out to our oldest daughter Hannah, she's helping me out behind the camera today. I believe these gorgeous prime rib burgers are done. Let's pull them up here. Oh yeah yeah. We got burger time, let's give it a try. Okay, hamburgers, this is level two. As you can see, I would say hamburgers or steaks, level two, because you got some mess here. Look, I left that burger on there. Look, we have some cheese. You can see the cheese is a little nasty left on there. So let me set these burgers aside here and show you how you clean a level two griddle. So here, you know, we don't have any sugary residue like we're gonna have on stir fry later, but we got kind of a mess. We have burned in sugar. So you're gonna pull out the old griddle scraper. I like this kind right here, folks. I like the kind that has a sharpened edge on it right there. And we're just gonna go ahead and scrape, okay? It shouldn't be too rough if your griddle top is properly seasoned. We're lightly scraping. Okay, we're not digging in there, folks. And why do we not dig in there? That's because these are steel griddle tops, uh, carbon steel. This isn't a restaurant cooking top, ones that are made out of uh, stainless. Those ones, the line cooks have to scrape those things every night all the way down. They're not non-stick, and they're certainly not as easy to work with. So here's all we're doing. We're doing light scraping, like this. So now you can see we pretty much got it to the point of where we had our previous cook, our grilled cheese. So we're just going to get all the crumbs and residue off the griddle top. Okay, once again, we're going to grab our handy paper towels. In this case, it is a bounty. And uh, we're going to wipe. Being careful again, wipe. Get all those crumbs off. Move them all back here towards your grease cup. Let me switch out a paper towel here. Okay, uh, just like that. Once again, gonna grab my oil. In this case, it's extra virgin. We're gonna give our griddle top a squirt of oil. And we're gonna, yikes, we're going downhill. We're in the mountains. <laughs> we're gonna wipe this in. And this is the way I would leave my griddle top for the next cook. We're ready to do another recipe or we're ready to pack it away for the evening. We're just finishing up some stir fry here. Of course, I got Blackstone sesame, teriyaki, sear and serve. All right, nothing is messier than stir fry. I mean, look at this, like you got a little bit of sugar in there, maybe use the teriyaki sauce. That stuff gets burned into the griddle and it gets nasty. So let me pull this beautiful stir fry and I'll show you how we clean a nasty level three stir fry mess. So that's 
how messy. Look at this, it's real sticky because you got sugar that's caramelized and that's burning on the griddle top here. So we've taken you through the previous steps. Level one, that's stuff like uh, quesadillas, maybe grilled cheese. Then we have step two, level two rather, that's things like uh, steaks and burgers where you got some grease splattering and some cheese melting and maybe a tiny bit more scraping. But check it out, level three, you got all that, but you've got burnt in sugar. Oh, look at that, see you scrape it, but it's still on there, so what are you gonna do? Using water is totally up to you. Some people get bent out of shape about it, but you don't need to worry about it, it doesn't hurt. But you definitely need some water to pull that sugar, to kind of deglaze it off the griddle top here. Now we're actually on a slope here, so this isn't our benefit since we're out in the woods. But all that water is gonna deglaze the griddle top, it's gonna pull that grease off, look at this. And water is gonna be your best friend. And maybe you're doing like level two cooking. Maybe you're cooking burgers, but maybe you're doing it at an event. Like in the past, we've cooked at trade shows and we've cooked hundreds upon hundreds of hamburgers in a row. Well, then you've got a mess that's akin to a level three, right? So water is just your choice. If you've got something that the scraper just is taking care of, you just get some water and then we're right back to that last step again where we get our paper towels. Come over here and wipe off our griddle top, okay? Now you notice, folks, I never did any aggressive scraping. You're never gonna aggressively scrape this. And one thing I wanna point out is you always want to clean your griddle top when it's hot, like I'm doing here. I get people, a lot of times, that send me messages and they say, hey Todd, I don't like the griddle because my family's done eating before I'm cleaning it. Well, you just saw me clean this in three different ways, right? Three different levels. Uh, it should never take you more than a minute to clean your griddle top. Two minutes tops, right? If you're really taking your time and closing your eyes, maybe three minutes. But that's all there is to it and you want to clean it when it's hot because if you let your griddle cool down, all that oil, that grease is gonna solidify and it's gonna get downright nasty. And then that's all there is to it, folks. Look how pretty that looks. We can turn that griddle off right there. You can let it smoke off for a minute if you want to, but it's ready to go for the next go around, whether you're making crepes or packing it away for the night. Three different levels that I've developed for cleaning your griddle top, and you might have your own. That's just fine, okay? This just works for me. I've been cooking on Blackstone griddles for going on nine years. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions on how to use your Blackstone griddle, just visit us at blackstoneproducts.com. Check out my weekly show right here. It's called Let's Give It a Try. Check out Chef Nate with Cook, Eat, Repeat. Check out Blackstone Betty with Family Style. And of course, our good friend, CJ. CJ's first cooking show. I have some delicious stir fry to eat here, so I'm gonna be quiet and we're gonna sign off. So until next time, everybody, this is Todd saying praise the Lord and pass the stir fry.